This Illawa FCA season preview is sponsored by Brent Skoglin and Jeff Weir, along with Rule and Rule Realtors. There's lots of talk around town on how district play is going to affect this football season. Not so here at Bettendorf. It's status quo as the Bulldogs apply hard work, passion, and purpose for the game, just like they do every season. Oh, it's just exciting to get started. Um, you know, we had, uh, I guess, I don't know what it is, seven or eight guys that played a lot on that team last year, and they have experience, and, and it's just, uh, you know, school start, football start, it's kind of an exciting time all, all over the place. Mm -hmm. What are some things execution-wise that are going to work right away, you think? Oh, I don't know. Right now, we're just kind of trying to get everything installed and get people in the right spot and figuring out our younger guys, especially where they're going to play and who's playing what position and doing some of that. So we have a lot of work to do still. Mm -hmm. Defending has always been such an important component yeah. for you guys, too. Is that is that the starting point right now? Oh, yeah, it always is. Um, you, if you can't stop people, you're, you're going to have a hard time. But, uh, no, we got to – the whole thing needs – we just got to – we got to um, – Get everything squared away. I mean, all, all phases right now, or we're just getting square one here. So we got a long way to go. Obviously, uh, new wrinkles to what the schedule is going to be in the district setup too. Is that something you put yeah. a lot of thought into, or not? You know? Uh, oh, I don't know. Right now, I'm just worried about getting our guys ready, and then we'll take them a game at a time. I hate to be cliche, but one game at a time. You know, we, uh, you know, right now it's just kind of our team we're focusing on, and then as we get about a week from now, we'll start looking at assumption week one, and, and then just one week at a time. In a way, can this freshen things up for uh, for high school football in Iowa? I think? think so. I think so. It's uh, some new chance to get some new rivalries, and, and we keep a lot of our old rivalries. And, you know, Iowa City High has kind of been a historic uh, uh, rivalry game for us. We've played some great games yeah. over the years, so it's kind of nice to get that one uh, as the home opener. And, and then, you know, we've played Iowa City West a few times. So, so, yeah, it's exciting, I guess, to get some new people. I think what attracts me the most to the defensive side is just being able to just hit people and throw your body out there and make it a big stop when, when you need to make a big stop and just playing defensive general is just, just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. How about like the science end of it, the study, the school part of it that you've got to, you, you have to be able to read uh, what the offense is doing, things like that too. I mean, how much of a mind game is it that uh, you, you got to be sharp too? The defensive side of the ball is, is very, is, it's a lot, it's not just physical, but very mental. You know, you have to, if, if, if you're reading the backs or reading the guard, you have to know like what you're doing, what gap you have dropping into your zone, like the coverages, all that. So it's it's not just physical, it's, it's a lot of it's mental as well. Mm -hmm. You guys have had so many great uh, linebackers come through here too. I mean, uh, that's got to be kind of neat to carry the torch this year as uh, one of those guys. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. I remember when I was a little kid looking up to, uh, I think when I was a freshman, it was like Nate Shaw and Keen Jurevitz, and now like I'm a senior. and It's kind of a weird feeling, but I'm really excited for this season. The Bulldogs once again will rely heavily on the strong arm of senior quarterback Kyle Cox, and he's just glad his arm is ready. A severe shoulder injury sent him into the operating room and through lots of off-season rehab. I'm very thankful, th very thankful to God because he gave me opportunity, you know, for this injury and. You know, he got me through it all, and it just makes me want to play the game more and more, and it just makes me, you know, realize how blessed I am to have the opportunity to play this game and have the talents he has given me, and it's it's been an awesome run this summer, and, you know, I'm excited to play this season. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like you are, you know, as far as your arm strength, things like that, and to be able to run this offense, too? You know, I've gotten back really fast, and... Um, I'm very thankful for it, and Kevin Swanson, my therapist, has been working with me three days a week, and he's been helping me out a lot and, you know, getting that strength back, and I've got it back, so I'm just ready for the season. Mm -hmm. Where did the mental part and maybe the prayerful part fit into to your comeback, do you think? You know, it was hard, you know, getting that phone call and getting the results of my MRI, but... Um, you know, you just got to do what you got to do to get back and, you know, you got to get through it. You can't, you know, feel sorry for yourself. You just got to get back up and get through all the injuries that you go through. Well, now as you face a promising season, too, I mean, uh, the, the thing is you can't hold back, too. Is that something that's in your mind that, you know, you can't uh, play tentatively or else you might get injured again? You know? Yes, you know, you can't hold back anything. And, you know, being a senior, you can't have any regrets going into your season. And you just got to give it your all every, ga every day and every game. Well, you've been around the varsity field for a long time. I remember that first game of your sophomore year. I mean, how affirming is it that you've got a, a nice wave of varsity play uh, behind you and now what you hope is a special time in front of you, too? Well, my coaches and I have very good communication together, and we're on the same page about a lot of things, and they've helped me a lot through the mental aspect of the game and, you know, the physical parts on me to get better there. And, you know, they help me every day in practice to get smarter and better mentally for the game.